Hello guys, I recently vibe coded a local internal tool for thumbnail generator and while doing that I realized something profound about AI guidelines that I want to quickly share in this video. How we treat guidelines in a bit wrong way I think, especially for the future in 2026. So the story is this, I coded this video thumbnail generator, vibe coded specifically, I didn't care that much about the code because it is internal project that looks like this, I just upload the YouTube short in mp4 and it adds the thumbnail in roughly like five seconds or so so it adds the first frame with the text on top not sure if you ever uploaded a youtube short but it is actual problem the thumbnail is not that easy to add so this was my internal problem and i vibe coded that with cloud code opus 4.5 in roughly an hour with like 30 prompts or so. So this is the rough code with Laravel using artisan command because at first it was terminal command and then I decided to formulate that as a web project and it all works. But out of curiosity, I gave that code to review to another model. This is what I often do to double check. So I opened up codex CLI and added a prompt. This was the prompt in the human language, analyze this project code and look for improvements just in general. And it had found a few things. I don't have the original screenshot, so I copy pasted that into Obsidian. And one of the points was really interesting to me on failure with input was missing, which is a pretty standard thing in Laravel. So if we get back to that controller code, this line is a problem. If some validation error happens, it redirects back with errors, but it doesn't preserve the original text input. So in the form, I would have to retype that thumbnail title again, which is a bad user experience, of course. So this is kind of the first side tip is to give the code to review to another model or another even family of models. So if you use Claude, try GPT and GLM or others just they think differently. And then my first thought was to fix the guidelines of Claude MD to always include with input on redirect back. So I opened Claude MD generated by Laravel Boost, which contains Laravel conventions and just Laravel general instructions and PHP rules and things like that. So what to do in controllers. So I thought somewhere here I should add a check to redirect back with errors. But then I realized that there's another way to look at that. So the code could have been generated better, but then the tests did pass, which means that the tests didn't contain the check that with input would be present. So then I looked at the test file that was generated and apparently there was no even testing for validation errors. Although in Claude MD, this is a general instruction by Laravel Boost. If you need to verify feature is working, write unit feature tests using past and then more instructions here. And then it got me thinking, for the long term, it's better to invest in the guidelines of tests, of automated tests, whether they succeed or fail, than to invest in the guidelines to generate the code in the first place. Because as I showed in many of my videos, Claude tends to ignore some of the parts of Claude MD for whatever reason, sometimes logical, sometimes not. So it's not guaranteed to be generated in the way you want the code, I mean. But the tests is deterministic. It's zero or one. It's passing or failing. And even Boris, creator of cloud code, emphasizes that in his very long and very viral thread of how he uses cloud code himself. The last part of this big thread, let me scroll to that is this final tip probably the most important thing give cloud a way to verify its work so this is exactly what boris is talking about if i had automated tests specifically for that case of validation then cloud code would determine that the tests fail and then would regenerate code appropriately so that's why my decision to update the guidelines was this adding this line into the testing phase of guidelines instead of how to generate the code. And now I will reprompt Cloud Code to generate more automated tests with you together. This is an experience kind of in live mode and we'll see what tests it will generate and how much it will discover. Maybe it will fail with the first test run and then we'll change the code. Let's see. Okay, so it generated a separate test file in addition to that. Add video thumbnail test. Okay, fine. And then one of my question is, will it take my new line of instructions of generate specific tests for validation and for input? 
And yes, exactly, bingo. So see what happens. It generated the test with various validation checks and one of the checks fails specifically. Check preserves old input on validation failure. Then the test fails. Then Claude Code detects that one test needs a fix. And then it fixes the test thinking that maybe the test is broken, but actually the code is broken. But actually interesting thing happened. So it kept regenerating the test, kind of fixing that. And then at some point with syntax change of the test, test started passing. So this is unexpected example in my video. I didn't plan to show that, but this is an example of false positive. So tests do succeed, but the actual error is still present. So my assumption here is this. I asked it to generate the test, so it assumed there's no need to fix the code. It's not broken. But then if I had that line of code in ClaudeMD earlier in the very beginning of the project, then generating the code would fail. And then in the feedback loop, in the same task of generating code with tests, it would discover and fix the code. This is just an assumption. I cannot really reproduce that because the project is already created. But my overall point, what I wanted to show you is this. If something is wrong in the code, don't necessarily add extra lines to the guidelines for the future, but add more specific cases for automated tests and final frontier, because I think this will be the future. And I already see people tweeting things like, we don't really care that much about code base and purity of the code as long as spec and test writing is good enough. I think it's all debatable and I don't want to go to the extreme of not caring about the code yet, but I think we do need to re-emphasize and refocus on automated tests and ensuring that the code actually works instead of trying to improve the guidelines for the code to look pretty and up to some standards, which are often personal preference. What do you guys think when you work on the guidelines for your AI agents? Do you emphasize the code more or the testing more or both? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more of my AI coding experiments, I have a Substack. Now I introduce more content for premium members. So this is for premium members for paid members of Substack. I published my guidelines for Laravel and Filament. And I will actually update that article. So this is the first update with cleanup. So this is for paid members of Substack, but for free members, I publish every Wednesday a free newsletter to recap the week of what happened, the main things with a lot of links and my own comments. So if you are overwhelmed with AI coding news and trends and new tools and new opinions, as much as I am as well. So I create this weekly recap for you and for myself as well. So subscribe, the link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.